Fora TV. The world is thinking. Can you walk us through this issue a little bit and explain in a couple of minutes what happened, how far has North Korea actually gone to dismantling its program, and, and do you actually believe that this will, this will end in success? Hmm. Uh, this is good news. 20 months ago, uh, North Korea was detonating nuclear weapons. Now they're blowing up the reactor. This is good. The, the, the movement's all in the right direction. Um, this is... This is one of the easier steps for them to take, actually. The reactor, it's, the cooling tower itself is not that significant. They could rebuild it in about a year, but it's one of about 12 major steps we, we're making with them. People may not realize this. We've had U.S. technicians uh, and scientists in North Korea for almost a year now take, starting to dismantle their nuclear facilities. We're punching holes in the reactor walls. We're taking out the pipes. We just got an inventory from them uh, that includes their declaration of what they've done. Uh, this is not a matter of trust. We now are engaged in a very elaborate process to go verify that declaration. So this is like uh, you know, the IRS giving you an audit. We're going in and looking at their production records week by week, day by day. What did you say you did? Show us that you did this. Trying to track down exactly what they did both domestically, how much plutonium did they produce, we think they built enough, made enough for about 10 nuclear bombs. They've declared that they've made enough for about seven, which is right, we don't know yet. And externally, did they help the Syrians or not with the reactor? So we've got to track all that down. But it's all going in, in the right direction, um, very, very positive signs. And, and this whole, you want me to just say on North Korea? Yeah, okay, so if let me can. just say, this illustrates one of the most profound policy differences that we've had over the last seven years. If you were designing a political science experiment, you couldn't have done it any better. And here, here it is. The Bush administration came in and they inherited a process of negotiations with the North Koreans that had frozen their bomb program. It had frozen the plutonium production reactor. They had suspended tests of nuclear missiles. The Bush administration didn't trust that process. They didn't trust negotiations. As Vice President Cheney said, we don't negotiate with evil, we destroy it. So they adopted, and John Bolton was a big advocate of this, a policy of trying to coerce North Korea into collapse or compliance, to overthrow the regime itself, not just the program. That policy backfired. North Korea accelerated its program, they fired up the reactor, they started testing missiles, eventually they detonated a weapon. To their credit, the Bush administration reversed course led by Condoleezza Rice in the State Department, they went back to a process of direct negotiations with the North Koreans, and it's paid off. The, 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 the North Korean nuclear program has now gone in reverse, and we're seeing that process of changing a regime's behavior, rather than trying to change a regime, pay off. This is the second successful case we've had in the Bush administration. First, we convinced Libya to give up its program. Now North Korea, a far more difficult case, is underway, and the real test will be whether we can do this with Iran, right. the most difficult test. Right. Yeah.